Today we're going to be looking at how to compare integers. So we're going to be given two integers and they're going to ask us to compare these two integers. And they're going to ask us what kind of number line to put them on. So yesterday we looked at integers and graphing integers and we looked at two different types of number lines. We have a horizontal number line and then we also have a vertical number line. So today we're going to be using this idea of numbers being below zero as less and numbers being above zero or to the right of zero as more or greater so that we can compare them to each other. So our first question says to compare two and negative six on a horizontal number line. All right, so horizontal again means flat. It's out there on the horizon. You can see it when you look out like where the sun sets on the horizon. So horizontals are flat number lines. So it wants us to compare two and six. So we're gonna make a horizontal number line, zero in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six. So here's five positive this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's negative five because again, we're five places to the left or below zero. So let's go ahead and talk about comparing. So the first step in comparing is to graph. So we need to graph two and negative six. So two is one, two jumps. Here's the two. And it's a positive two because it's above zero or to the right of zero. And negative six is below zero or one line past negative five. This one is negative six. Now we're going to compare these by using the less than, greater than, or equal or not equal to signs. Not really, we're just using less than or equal or greater than. So when we write this, we're gonna compare it in the same order that they asked. So the first number was two, and we wanna know how does it compare to negative six? Well, because two is further to the right on the number line, it is greater than negative six. Negative six is below zero, so that means it's less than zero, and it's actually really far away from zero. So two is greater than, so we're gonna use the greater than sign, and that's because two is um, farther to the right. Okay, and it's above zero. All right, let's look at another example. This one says to compare says to compare negative five and negative three on a vertical number line. All right, so vertical means it goes up and down. So we're gonna make a number line that goes up and down. So a vertical number line. So we are going to just draw vertically. And again, we're gonna put zero right in the middle and then above, one, two, three, four, five, above and then below zero is less, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and negative five. So first step is to graph negative five. So let's graph negative five, because that's the first number or integer. Here's negative five. And then the second integer is negative three. 
negative three is below zero again. So one, two, three jumps below zero. That is negative three. So now let's talk about comparing these two integers. So we had negative five and we wanna know how does it compare to negative three? Which one is greater? Which one is lesser? Well, the further we get away from zero, the less we have. The closer we are to zero, the greater the integer. So even though this is a negative number, it's still bigger than negative five. It seems weird and it seems backwards, but it's actually a greater number. I would rather have negative three dollars than negative five dollars. Negative five is a um, is having even less money, right? Or I would rather be in negative three degrees than negative five degrees. Okay, so it's further below zero. So negative five is less than negative three because it's it's um, negative five is less because it's further from zero. All right, so you've got farther below zero. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do a couple triads. So let's do our triads. So that way you can practice um, identifying which one is greater, which one is less. All right, the first one we have is um, zero and negative Four. So go ahead and compare those. And then the last one we are going to do is negative eight and negative seven. And you can use whichever type of number line you prefer on these two triads. All right, go ahead and hit pause right now so that you don't hear me solving. All right, so zero and negative four. So we're gonna make ourselves a number line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, ooh, negative four. All right, so it wants us to graph first the zero. So my zero is right here, so I'm gonna put a dot there. And negative four is right here, so I'm gonna put my dot on negative four. And now I need to compare zero and negative four. So to compare zero and negative four, I am going to say that zero is greater than, oops, I forgot my negative sign, negative four. And it's greater than negative four because it's above negative four or it's farther to the right. So zero is farther to the right. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and look at number two. I'm looking at negative eight and negative seven. So we have a zero, one, two, three, four, five up here, and we're gonna go negatives, one, two, three, four, five. So negative five negative six, negative seven, negative eight, and we need to graph both of these. So here's negative eight, and here is negative seven. And when we compare these, we are gonna say that negative eight is less than negative seven. And that's because negative eight is below it's below or farther to the left, right? Farther to the left compared to negative 
seven. All right, sixth graders, go ahead and um, rate your, or answer your essential question. How do we compare integers? Go ahead and answer that essential question. And then rate your understanding out of three. How are you feeling about comparing integers? If you have any questions, come on back to the Google Meet and ask me for help. Otherwise, make it a great day, the Cougar Way.